Tidal bores are rare and only occur on certain tides in certain areas. Well, one of those unique spots is in France. Malika Dudley was there and got to experience it for herself. She has more from Saint Pardon as we continue our week long look at the French connection. The little town of Saint Pardon, as the French would say, is complètement paumé, in the middle of nowhere. But twice a day when the tide is high, spectators and surfers flock to the banks of La Gironde River. It's just like lots of adrenaline, most of, the, most of the time at the beginning, because you see this thing coming and I say, oh, yeah, yeah, my God. Fabienne is talking about what draws the crowd, riding the river bore. Here it's called Le Mascaret. People have been surfing it for more than 20 years. We told ourselves one day after going on all these surf trips to Morocco, South Africa, why not surf in our own backyard? And that's just what Jean-Francois did, on a shortboard first in small increments. How did you start? 10 meters. From there to there? Um, the next day, 20, each time it was really just an extra leap or so, so you're stressed because you don't know if you're going to catch the wave or not. So what is it exactly? A tidal bore is an ocean phenomenon produced by the tides that then can go up rivers. It needs to be about 20 feet or more typically to form a tidal bore. And it only occurs every couple of weeks when the tides are at their largest. As the leading edge of the tide is funneled into a shallow, narrowing river, it forms a wave which rushes in from the ocean. The flood tide actually causes the river to temporarily reverse its flow. So surfers drift downriver to wait for the wave, but if you pass the pier, you're paddling up current to get back. One we've seen here is called an undular bore, and that it undulates. It's like this, and there's not just one wave, but there's a whole series of waves. So there's a wave in front of you, you're on a wave, and there's a wave behind you. Surfing on river waves using Hawaiian ocean toys. Stand-up paddle boards, long boards, and even OC4 Hawaiian outrigger canoes. When we surf an ocean wave for 30 seconds, it's already a beautiful thing. But my first time on the river, I surfed the bore for eight minutes. That's how long it takes to get from the bend in the river back to the pier. And then if you're lucky enough, you can go maybe eight more minutes on the other side. Did you do your math? That's 16 minutes of constant surfing. Potentially here, I think we could ride for 28 to 30 minutes. If you don't fall off. The first time I tried it, my heart was in my throat. The main thing yeah. is never touch the water. Right. Okay. There for a total of three days, we surfed the bore five times. I just got out of the water and this is a dawn session like none I've ever had before. Tandeming in the dark on a river. Exhausting yet exhilarating. And to make things even more special, these Riverside residents share their unique brand of aloha. Bonjour, ma chérie, vous êtes belle. Bonjour. Bienvenue à Saint Pardon. <laughs> Bernadette and Bernard have been surfing coffee and cookies to the Kuki Riverboard surfers for years. <laughs> now that's Francais. Reporting from Saint Pardon on La Gironde River, Malika Dudley, Hawaii News Now. Oh man, that looks like a lot of fun, and you wouldn't get so tired of paddling back out because it's such a long, continuous ride. That's right, it makes it worth it. Now, Malika did admit her legs felt shaky after riding for the distance there. Right, and if you're wondering why the water was brown, it's just a little sediment. <laughs> no worries. Well,